Hi Foundation Children. I thought it would be a lovely thing to do a little lesson about telling the time. I know that we've touched on this a little bit in the previous terms um, with when we do certain things during the day like when we get up, when we have breakfast, when we have lunch, when we go to school, when we go home, when we go to bed. So today I'm going to show you a clock and we're going to think about how we tell the time with the O clock. Okay, we're going to start with that. So first of all, I just want to look carefully at the clock itself. Okay, so here you can see that we have got numbers going all the way around. Okay, and these are mainly for the hour and in between these numbers we have these little lines here and these lines are for the minutes okay and if we count them going all the way around there are 60 minutes in one hour so if I show you here this would be one minute two minutes, three, four, five. And then if I put it here, that would be 10 minutes because if we count the lines, there were 10 minutes from here to here. And if you look carefully, we can see that there's five lines, five seconds in between each of these numbers. And that's one of the reasons why we learn to count in fives. So it's easier to tell the time. So we can go 5, 10, 15, 20. So we know here we can go 5, 10. So we know it's 10 minutes past one. OK, but today we are going to just learn about the o'clock. So let's look at the two hands. We have got a long hand here and that is the minute hand. Because as we know, if we go around, that's the hand that does the minutes going around. Okay, so if you can see here, it's going around. So this would go around in the hour. And you can see the other hand here, the hour hand, just moving at a slower rate. And when we're back here, 60 minutes has passed and now it says 2 o'clock. And we know it's 2 o'clock because the hour hand, the shorter hand, is pointing to the 2. And the minute hand is pointing to actually zero, zero minutes. So it's o'clock. It always goes up, points to the number 12 when it's o'clock. So it's two o'clock. Okay. So I'm just going to move it again. So if you can see, so it's two o'clock now. So as the minutes go round, that's 10 minutes past, 15 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 minutes have passed, another hour has passed. What time do you think it is now? Look at the hour hand, the shorter hand. What number is that? If you said three, you were right. So it's three o'clock. The minute hand always points up towards the number 12 and the hour hand points to what hour it is. Now, I have drawn some clocks myself and your adults can help you to do this so if you want to pause 
the video and just try to draw some clocks yourself. I used a cup to just do the circle and then I did a dot in the middle and then I just did the numbers going around. Okay, so you can pause it to have time to do some clocks, okay? You will need help with this. Okay, so I want you to now see if you can draw three o'clock. I'm going to help you, so I'll do it with you. So we know that three o'clock, the hour hand, the shorter hand is pointing to the number three. So I am going to draw that here. So you can see it's shorter. So I basically do it just roughly halfway to the number three. And then the hour hand is always pointing all the way up to the number 12. If you find it hard to do a straight line, you can have a ruler that will help you, okay? Don't forget, pause at any time if you need a little bit more time. So I have drawn three o'clock, okay? I'm going to now show you a time and I want to see if you can work out what time it is. So let me twizzle the minute hand around. Okay, so here we go. So if you look carefully, what number is the hour hand pointing to? Remember, the minute hand is always pointing up for the o'clock. So just have a look. If you said it's pointing to the five, so it's five o'clock, you are right. Give yourselves a round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. Good. So what I want you to try to do now is draw five, sorry, five o'clock on one of your clocks that you have drawn. You can pause this at any time if you need a little bit longer. Remember, I am doing this by myself, so I don't know how long it takes for you to do. But if you remember, for five o'clock, the our hand, the shorter hand, is pointing towards the five. So it's like that, okay? And then the hour hand is always pointing to the number 12. It's always pointing upwards because it's zero minutes have gone past, okay? So that is five o'clock. Well done. Okay, let's do another one. So let me twizzle it around again. Takes time. Okay, nearly there. There we go. So I have got it to this time now. So have a look at where the hour hand is pointing to. What is the hour hand pointing to? Remember for o'clock, the minute hand is always in the same position because an hour has gone past, it's pointing to zero minutes. So if you said seven o'clock, you were right. Well done, okay? We're going to now try to write that, to draw again, seven o'clock. So the number seven gives you a clue, okay? So we need to draw a line going towards the seven. Can you see what I have done? And then, the minute hand always points to the number 12, always points up for seven o'clock. Good. Well done. 
Okay, let's do another one. So I'm going to move it. So if I move it, you can see what I'm doing. So one hour has passed. And then another hour has passed. So you can see as the hour passes, the hour hand is moving slowly from one number to the next. So what time is it now? Have a good look. If you said nine o'clock, you were right, children. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Good job. Okay, I think you know what I'm going to ask you to do now. So, I am going to do this. I'm not going to show you how to do it. I want to see if you can do it yourself, okay? So, nine o'clock. Try your hardest. Try your best. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit wrong, okay? You can fix it afterwards, can't you? So, can you draw nine o'clock in one of your clocks? Okay. Don't forget, you can pause it if you need to. So I'm going to show you what nine o'clock looks like. There we go. So the hour hand is pointing to the number nine and the minute hand is pointing all the way up to the number 12. Remember for o'clock, it always points up. Okay, excellent. Now I'm going to show you another time and I want to see if you can do this because th sometimes children find this a little bit tricky so that's 10 see the hours moving here we go so what time do you think this is both of the hands are pointing to the number 12 Now, if you said 12 o'clock, children, you were right. Well done. Okay, because the hour hand, yes, the hour hand, can you see is hiding a little bit behind the minute hand? It's pointing to the hour 12. And the minute hand is also pointing up there because it's zero minutes. There's no minutes that have passed. So that is 12 o'clock. Can you see now? If you can write, if you can draw 12 o'clock on your clock, okay? And I will do it as well. This one's a tricky one to do. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of time. Okay, so don't forget, you can pause it if you're not ready. So if you see here, both of the hands are pointing to the number 12. You can just about see the shorter hand behind my longer minute hand. Can you see? So that is 12 o'clock. That's quite a tricky one to do, okay? Now, as an extension, I want you to see if you can write the times underneath. So, for example, for this time here, that would be three o'clock. So underneath this time here, we need to write three o'clock. Now, o'clock is quite a tricky word to do. So you might need to have your adults to just write it at the top of the page for you to reference it, okay? But I will show you here. So it's three, then we have o, and then we have a little apostrophe, and then we've got clock. K -l -o -k. So here, three o'clock, okay? I'm going to do one more for you. So here is pointing to the number five, remember? So it's five o'clock. So I would write here five o'clock. Okay, so what I want you to do is when I finish this video, I want to see if you can carry on 
writing all the times of the ones we have done, okay? You can even draw more clocks and do some more o'clock times. That would be fantastic. And I know that the foundation staff will be really looking forward to seeing some of your o'clock work on tapestry, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I will see you soon. Bye now, children.